What's up, guys, and welcome to this week's Old School Update in three minutes. And this week, we have the Isle of Souls update, which is essentially a revamp to all of the area surrounding Soul Wars, which was already placed on an entire island by itself, but none of the surrounding area was accessible. But now it is, and it has been revamped with a bunch of new monsters and resources. So let's go ahead and jump through what they are. First up, we have resources, and for trees, there are maple, yew, teak, and mahogany. Rocks, there are clay, copper, tin, iron, silver, gold, coal, and mithril. There's a net harpoon, a net bait, and a cage harpoon fishing spots. In terms of hunter, we have a couple bird locations and a gray chinchampas. Then we have some flax picking, an anvil, and a new rare impling spawn location within the aisle. And you also have the option to build both a spinning wheel and a pottery wheel. But now for monsters, we have sand crabs, moss giants, pyre fiends, pyre lords, cows, and chickens. And in terms of higher level monsters, we now have a new dungeon, which Konar does actually assign a few tasks within this dungeon now. And the monsters you can find here are skeletons, lesser demons, greater demons, fire giants, blue dragons, baby blue dragons, and iron dragons. Not only that, there is also Addy and Rune Rock, both available within this dungeon. But now to go through the brand new items and rewards that are coming with the new Isles of Souls update. First, we have the new chest within the dungeon, and it requires 28 thieving to open. There is a new loot table that comes along with the chest, and this includes the new dark key item. And what you can do with this dark key is take it over to the new crumbling tower, and in the basement you will find another chest, and you can use this dark key on the new chest in that basement, giving you 1500 thieving experience in a roll on this new loot table. I'm definitely interested to see what this kind of loot table looks like from both of these chests specifically. Along with these new chests and loot tables, we also have a new monster, and these are the Forgotten Souls. These souls are located on the upper levels of the Crumbling Tower. They count as Ghost Slayer task, and they are affected by the Ectoplasmator. These new souls will also have a new unique drop table, so I'm definitely interested to see what that contains. But apart from that, the only other update we have this week is you can now purchase Blighted items from the Soul Wars shop for 10 zeal apiece. But with that, the only other thing is the PvP worlds have now rotated to period A. The world listings are on screen. I'm not going to go through all of them. But that is this week's update in three minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, consider dropping a like. It massively helps out these videos. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. But thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next. And if you are interested in any of the loot videos from any of this new Isles of Soul content, make sure to hit that subscribe button because some videos will be coming here in the near future. Peace.